the Numberlies by William Joyce and Christina Ellis. As we begin our story, imagine a world with no letters, no words. Once upon a time, there was no alphabet, only numbers. Everyone liked numbers. They had nice shapes and kept things orderly, and everything added up, so life was sort of numberly. Streets were called by their numbers, as were towns, countries, everything. But there weren't any books, or colors, or jelly beans, or pizza, only 00267, which was thick and gray and gloopy and 00268, which was thicker and grayer and, well, gloopier. But there were five friends who had been thinking for more days than they could count, wondering if they could do something more. They were tired of the same old thing. Did they need? More numbers? Did they need better numbers? Maybe they needed something different. So they started to work. At first, it was awful. Then, artful. When they came to the last letter, things began to happen. And they knew it was time to show the numberly world. Suddenly, the letters formed into words, and as they formed words, the world was filled with amazements. As the day ended, the five were sleepy, but satisfied they had done something new, something different, something more. Z and